day everyone, it's Warren from NQ Explorers. Today another World War II relic hunt. This side here we haven't visited for about three or four years. Um, always a lot of grass in here but uh, it changes every year so there's always a chance of getting some good finds in here. Coins, badges, rising suns if we're lucky, uh, lots of 303 ammunition, that sort of thing. There's a few trench lines and things, uh, drainage pits in here where the armies dug them uh, during the war. Um, always worth checking those areas, little bottle dumps, that sort of thing. And we'll wander further out into the bush and see if we can find some new tent areas and that sort of thing. Once you start getting the tarp loops and the poncho loops, it's all good. So, uh, yeah, should be a great day. Be back shortly. Okay, so my next find is this bottle. It's got a, a lid on it, so that must have been what um, sent the signal off. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to read anything off it when we clean it up, but um, that's just a really nice little shaped bottle. Yeah. Have a look at it. It's, still, it's got a screw top lid. Well, I've surprised myself here. This is a really jumpy 77, 78, then it went to 82, um, and at right angles it was giving a different target ID. I assumed it was going to be a 303 hull or a complete round, but no, it's a halfpenny. Awesome. First coin of the day. Oh, and it's a lovely old Australian uh, Commonwealth one. An old Commonwealth halfpenny. Definitely a World War II drop. If you can see the year there, you probably can. Uh, anyway, nice. I'll get a date off it and uh, subtitle it. Happy with that. Well, I've uh, got a second good target within 10 minutes now. I've been uh, a bit quiet for the first half an hour. A uh, bit of uh, brass strap ending. Okay. Look at this. It was um, just quite close to the surface here, just uh, under a bit of the leaf litter. And it looks like um, a shower. Yep, the shower rose. Big, beautiful old one. Gee, it's in good condition too. Oh, that's really lovely. Yeah. Okay. This next one was really quite close to the surface as well. And it's a baby spoon. The other one was the dessert spoon and here's the teaspoon yeah lovely it's all within the same area and like a couple of meters apart so I've just taken it steady here and um, seems like a good little spot yeah this one's a lovely strong solid 80 81 I'm getting a 10 centimetre indication. So if it's a coin, that's where it's going to be. But this is coming to this really shallow, rocky ground here. I don't think it's going to be too deep here. I'm just about down on granite bedrock there. I'd say that would get the, the target to be gone now. Yep. I haven't seen any move out of that. Uh, look, that's not even an inch deep. Nothing's going to be buried far here because it's uh, there's just no topsoil and here it is brass ring definitely World War II washer I mean, brass washer well this one's still in the shallow rocky area just got a one cent coin <laughs> I didn't show you that this one's 75, 76 got a little bit of depth on it there I wonder what this can be. No, it is buried in this. I have to brutal with the pick, but I'll go around it and ease the center section out. Couldn't look at this with anything else other than a prospecting pick. Okay, still in the center of the hole there. See, that's hard ground. 78. So, uh, put a bit of effort into this now, I think. We'll open it right up. Obviously, it's cemented. Probably in the wet season, this stuff is quite soft. Just at the moment, end of the dry, rock hard. Goes like concrete. Okay, still in there. Okay. 
It's more that boy. This is a coin that's been in the rocks. Oh, it is a coin. It just came out. Can you believe that? That, that was cemented down in that concrete-like rock. That's another Commonwealth halfpenny. Absolute ripper. You saw how hard that ground was, so this shows you it does soften up in the wet. That coin's been there 70 years in this basically concrete soil. <laughs> Fantastic. Hang on a second, we'll get a date. Well, there she is, that uh, difficult recovery with the old uh, pick. You saw how hard that ground was. 1933 Australian Commonwealth halfpenny. What a ripper. Okay, I think this must have been the mess hall where I am because um, just under here, it looks like there's another spoon. Oh, it's a beautiful little one too. Look at that. That's a beautiful little tiny one. Yeah. So that's three different sizes I've uh, found in this one little area. So this, I'd say this has to be the mess hall. Hmm. That's in really, really good condition. Dug it out. My pro point has gone flat, so I have to just see if we can search through it this way. Okay. Oh, you can see what it is there. Look at that. Looks like a penny. Hmm. Seems a bit out of shape. Don't know. So. It is a penny. I can see um, Australia written around there. So I wanted to clean it up and see uh, if we can get a date off it. Looks a bit warm, but yeah, we'll see what it comes up with. Well, we just had a cup of tea in a Lamington for uh, morning tea. Um, first target uh, in the bush. After the little break, I was rewarded with this beautiful pip. That's the third one we've found between the, the four of us today. Um, clearly an officer's camp, the officer's lines of the unit. That's in great condition. One lug bent to one side, but uh, beautifully domed. And, uh, well, that's about as good as they come out here. Ripper. Nice piece of World War II memorabilia here. It uh, was virtually a surface find. It was just under the leaf litter. Nice bit of web, webbing belt uh, brass. In great nick too, look at that. Fantastic. Okay, so I've been digging um, quite a few 303 empty cartridge shells. So this here sounds a little bit different. It's a little bit higher. So I'm just going to do a live dig and see what comes up with. It sounds like a bit of noise there.
Let's have a look. Um, it, um, let's see. It sounds like that a bit, isn't it? There. Looks like um, some sort of a badge. Really, really not sure, but if we clean it up, there may be something, looks like there could be some letters on there or something. So, um, we'll clean that up and see what we can find with that. Okay, so this is quite an unusual find. I haven't seen one of these before. It's um, a bottle and it's got written on it Tasma. It's got the Tasmanian map of Tasmania there. And it says... Bottle is the property of the Tasmanian Bottle Company. Yeah, so there's the the map of Tasmania, and it says Tasma. Well, that's certainly unusual. So uh, I might have to look into that. It was um, just buried in here. So. 75, 76, jumpy a little bit, but it's fairly, uh, looks to be a compact target. It's jumping between those two numbers, so it's fairly consistent, really. Could be 303, but they normally uh, tend to wander a bit more than that in the target ID, based on the way they're laying in the ground, because they're a long, skinny target, obviously. Okay, it's in the muller keep here. On the back end there, so apparently it was only shallow. I didn't see any any objects. Oh, it's just a bit of lead or well, melted uh, aluminium, anyway. Well, anyway, there's a shower block floor close by, so plenty of activity in this area. Seventy six, seventy seven. Could be three oh three. Just dug a couple of holes. Just further down the slope a bit, so no, it's even better than that. It's a buckle, look at that. Beautiful. Webbing buckle. Nice. Okay, here's a nice little find just under the surface. Yeah. Belt buckle. I think it's a belt, it might be some sort of, no, probably yeah, some sort of webbing. Webbing buckle. Okay. Okay, in this area I've been finding quite a few um, tent loops and I've just found a um, an army button by the looks of it. So that's a good indication we might be onto something here. So I'll give it a clean up and see how how it looks. This one's another jumpy 70 signal. I can see, oh look at that. Soil's are dry as a bone, but we've got a bit of a clump going on here with the webbing buckle in it. Same as the second one, the first one I just got. The one I just got uh, about, I don't know, 300 mil from that one. Laterally, now I said it probably belonged to the same bit of web tracking, trapping, I suppose. Nice. Just got this beautiful old penny not far from those two buckles. I'm going to suggest that uh, even though we've been here before, and the grass is long today, it's uh, the clumps are in different spots. So there's a bit of new ground that we're uh, finding targets in. I'm not sure of the year there. You can probably see it, but I'll subtitle. Okay, so this is my next find, and it's um, a penny. Oh, hang on, is it? Yes, it is. It's um, an old one. It's not a kangaroo one. So it might be 1920-something by the look of that. Let's see. It's a bit hard to read. Could be 1924, but when we um, give it a bit of a clean-up, 
We should get the date a bit better than that. And that's the other side. Hmm. Now this find here was right next to the penny, but I don't think this is a penny. It's very, very um, thin. It's not a very good shape, so... Mm. I'm really not quite sure what it is. I just came back to retrieve Colleen's uh, awesome Tasma bottle that she found. I've never heard of Tasma beer. Um, and for that to be way up here in North Queensland and sitting here 70 years buried for Colleen to dig up, fantastic. A few metres away I swung around and uh, picked out two nice uh, brass buckles. They're off those long uh, dress belts. Two of them in the hole together. I don't know what's going on with that. I think there's more targets in here. I'll keep at it. Right, I've got a rip roar in 86 here. It's solid as a rock. Great signal. I just took a couple of little uh, cartridges and poncho loops. Here's the target here, look. Uh, I think it's a piece of safety razor, but it's a big one. Nice. Well, this is another area. I've moved on a bit from lunch into a spot I haven't really visited in the past, sort of expanding out around the edges of the camp. So... Okay, this one here is a, um, a button. It's a nice nice signal it was on um, 65 it was a good um, it's a big size so it was a good solid signal yeah so it's probably off some um, army tunic or something I've just found this little buckle not sure if it's gilt or not would it be gilt looks like it might have a bit of color on it there but it's got the little tongue in intact now this was a nice big solid signal. I can see why. It's another spoon. Hmm. Just under the litter of um, just under the trash here. Yeah. So that's um, spoon number four today. Now this was a very strong signal. It's an old um, padlock. Looks like it's actually got something on that side. When I clean it up and have a look, it's, I've never seen that shape padlock before. So, interesting. Peter's got some really good finds here. What do you got? This is pretty special. Well, this is a silver ring made out of a coin probably. Yeah, maybe a shilling or something. Looks that's like he split the top or something, and that's a beautiful bit of history there, a bit of trench art. Nice, sterling yeah. silver. And I think I saw a 20 written on it somewhere before in the bush. Yeah. But anyway, we'll have to have a look at that. What else we got? And then here's a button. Jungle shirt button, yeah. Spoon. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> around oh, the corner spoon. Yeah, around the corner spoon. This one's a real bent up one. Oh, look at that little, that's a cute little shape. <laughs> What's that, a little sugar spoon? Oh no, it's not as got a square, I've got it a square end. Looks like it's made of copper too. Well, the We've copper. had a real uh, day on the spoons. And here's a little bit of a spoon. Oh yeah. Nice. I don't know. That's, that's the end of a bit of webbing strap. Um, yeah. where, where's your pip? And he's got an officer's pip, a lieutenant's pip. Where'd you put that? Oh, it's in the land oh. room. That's really so, cool. so what else we got here? This is here's your first it. find of the day, wasn't it? That's it, it's a pip. Beautiful. Officer's Pip. Look at the condition and of that. It's beautiful. It's and I, di I didn't dig all around it, so you found the other one beside Yeah, it. after lunch, so it's got the second one about a foot from that one. So that's the <laughs> lesson. Always dig all around your find. Don't leave it for the next bloke. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. <laughs>